Have you ever had a strange coincidence or string of coincidences happen in your life? Maybe you've had a deja vu or a dream that helped make a decision at an important point. Maybe you uh, had a friend call out of the blue just when you were thinking of them. Maybe you've had uh, you know, circumstances that just kind of confirmed a decision you were making or a change. Sometimes we talk about getting into the flow or dealing with synchronicity that things just seem to line up for us perfectly um, as if luck were in our favor. And a lot of times when we talk about coincidence, people say, oh, that's just in your head. And I, for that reason, don't even like to use the word coincidence. I prefer synchronicity because coincidence just has such a strong connotation of just a coincidence. And I'm here to tell you that these coincidences aren't just in your head. They're messages from the universe that are helping us to live out our destiny, our purpose in life. And so let's talk a little bit about the concept of destiny. You know, there's been a debate going on for centuries about two seemingly opposite concepts, that of destiny or predestination and that of free will. And what I like to do is integrate the two into what I think is a more realistic model of what reality and existence is all about. If you look here on the whiteboard, I've drawn a straight line here that goes from your birth through your life and to death. And this straight line is what I will define as destiny. And when we're following our destiny, when we're living out our purpose, life seems to be full of these beneficial coincidences, these lucky experiences, everything seems to go right and we find meaning and happiness in life. If you depart from that, if you start to make choices that are out of alignment with your purpose, which is what I have here as a sine wave, this is free will. And free will can get us into trouble sometimes because we make choices that just aren't in harmony with, with what we're here for. And when this happens, there's a, a corrective action that takes place we start to experience a breakdown or things start to seem to fall apart. Things go wrong. We find ourselves unfulfilled and wanting for more. And I, I believe that this corrective action is the universal intelligence, the higher intelligence, telling us that we need to get ourselves back onto this path, that we need to walk that straight and narrow, the razor's edge, that we need to start getting back to the basics of our purpose, our meaning in life. And I believe that we all have a destiny. We all have a purpose. The universe has plans for you. It's said in Judaism that all appointments are by God, even that of a janitor. And I think this is very significant because it means that everyone is important. We all have our roles to play on the stage of life. And so this also kind of lends itself to the idea that Every one of us is cared about. Not in an ambiguous way, not in an impersonal way, but in a very personal way. And what I found from the time that I was very young and I began to notice this is that these messages do seem to show a genuine concern and care for our well-being. Now, the, the nature of these messages quite frequently is, is very simple. It's, it's kind of a beacon system. It's it's like the game that we play when we're kids where we hide something and we send our friends out to find it and we say, you're getting hotter or you're getting colder. And quite frequently, that's purely the nature of the message just to tell us that. You know, hey, we're getting off track or hey, we're getting back on track. But sometimes the messages have a little bit more information. Sometimes they tell us clues about who we are, what we're here for, and, and what we need to be doing moment to moment. And these messages are conveyed in different vehicles, if you will. Sometimes they're conveyed in dreams. Sometimes the messages come to us through animals. You know, the Native American tradition teaches us about power animals or totems. And they believe that the animals are very connected with the great spirit, that, uh, that they're very powerful in, in the assistance that they can give us and the guidance and the teaching that they can give us. Sometimes we get messages through numbers. We'll start to notice certain numbers more frequently than what would be considered normal. Um, I found in my personal experience when I was dealing with uh, 
big pivotal changes in my life and I was following my destined path that I would notice on the clock 11 11 1 11 2 22 and I would see these things you know if you see this once or twice you say it's just coincidence you blow it off but if you go to sleep one night and you wake up four times and every time you wake up it's 1 11 2 22 3 33 you start to get puzzled and you start to say, what is this? And when you see this going on even more, you know, throughout a whole week, and you see it multiple times, then you really start to think, something's happening here. This isn't just a coincidence. So what if we could find out what our destiny is? Do you think that uh, listening to these messages uh, for guidance, do you think it might lead to a more fulfilling life. You know, what is fulfillment in life? You know, we have uh, all of these ideas that our culture poses to us about success, that it takes money, it takes beauty, power, and all these things make a, a successful life. But if we look at even recent history here, you know, we have Anna Nicole who had all of those things and yet she was medicated, she was so unhappy, and ultimately it caused her demise. So I would suggest to you that all of these things are fine in and of themselves, but they don't really get down to the bare basics of what makes a fulfilling and happy life. And I believe that the, the key element that was missing in her life was that she wasn't following her destiny. She hadn't found her purpose. So let's talk about the power animals. You know, I, I studied shamanism uh, with some Native Americans when I was about 15 years old. And during the course of that time, they told me that my power animal was the crow. And I had a particularly hair-raising experience. Uh, I came home from school one day, uh, and my mother and I wandered into my backyard hearing this loud commotion going on. We had a 75-foot black walnut tree, and in the tree was a whole murder or a flock of crows. And um, in the center of these crows was a white crow. And I thought, wow, what a validation of what they just said to me. And this is... This is what happens frequently with messages that they get validated. We find that uh, messages that are repeated are particularly significant. And if you experience these things in the company of another person and they experience the same thing, that is even more validation. Interestingly enough, uh, some 15 years after that initial experience with the white crow, I woke up one Saturday morning and I heard a loud commotion going on outside of my house and I got up to explore what was actually going on outside and when I went out there I looked up at the sky and there were three crows chasing a red tailed hawk over my house and as I fixed my gaze on what was happening the crows took off to the east and the hawk stayed and hovered over circling and it occurred to me that maybe this was like the changing of the guard. And I didn't know exactly what it meant at the time, but I knew that if something like this was happening, that something very significant was likely to occur in my life very soon. 